Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As always, thank you so much for joining me. So as you can tell, the introduction to this video is slightly different to my usual introductions, and that is because I actually forgot to film an introduction for the vlog. So I'm really sorry, I'm actually filming this introduction on my phone, but to be fair, my phone quality is actually really, really good. So no hate on the phone camera. So as you can tell by the title, um, I took my best friend, Anna, who you guys have met on previous videos, to Royal Ascot this year for her 26th birthday. And I just wanted to vlog it basically. And it's not the best vlog, I will admit, but I'm still kind of getting used to vlogging. It's not my best. I'm a lot better at these sit down sort of videos in my room or like try on hauls, makeup videos, things like that. Um, I'm just a lot, I've, I'm a lot more used to it. I've been doing them a lot more. So I was kind of out of my comfort zone doing a vlog, but I tried my best and I still tried as well as I could to show you guys like the atmosphere and kind of what we got up to and what we did and just a little bit of the day. Um, it was really, really hard. It was boiling hot um, in Ascot. So my camera kept like um, getting really sweaty, like and greasy from my hands, which wasn't ideal. And I also was always carrying a glass of something in my hand, a bottle of water under my arm, a handbag. <laughs> and it was just, it was not easy. I also showed you guys in the first portion of the vlog, a bit of a sped up get ready with me when I was doing my makeup and when I got my hair done. So that was fun as well to film. And I wanted to show you guys sort of my process of getting ready. We've got some outfit clips in there. We've got a few, a few different clips. It's a little bit chaotic, but we love chaotic on this channel. So yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy the vlog. Um, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave the rest to you guys. Please don't forget to wish Anna a happy birthday down in the comments. And I think that's everything. So yeah, without further ado, if you'd like to see our day out at Royal Ascot, then please do keep watching. Hi everyone. So this is me with my bare face. Just going in with some moisturiser and just blending that into my face. Let it soak in before I put my foundation on. I absolutely love this Revolution moisturiser. It's so creamy. Then going in with my L'Oreal True Match. I love this foundation. This is definitely the best high street foundation if you ask me. It's so dewy. I absolutely love it. And I'm just blending it in. Blend, blend, blend. And yes, I know it looks a little bit yellow for my complexion, but trust the process. I was quite tanned on my body, so it worked in the end, don't you worry. Then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, just put a little bit of that under both eyes, and then I just blend it in with a brush. I used to always blend it in with a beauty blender, but I basically changed my mind and decided that I preferred how it looked when I buffed it in with a brush. So I use a foundation brush just to put it on and then I get a nice buffing brush and just buff it in really gently and I just think it looks so much more seamless and smooth and a lot easier for some reason than I found using a beauty blender. So that is my concealer process and it looks lovely and concealed. Then I go in with my translucent Huda Beauty powder for under my eyes. And I just use like a tapered fluffy brush for this and I just sort of pat and blend under the eyes. Then I take my Maybelline Fit Me Pressed powder for all of the other oily parts of my face. So next to my nose, on my chin, on my forehead and just anywhere there's a little bit of shine. I love this powder and I've just gone in with a big fluffy brush as well just to put it all over my face and make sure I last all day. Then I'm taking the MAC bronzer in Give Me Sun. This is an oldie but a goodie, it's such a classic. I was obviously going for very old school makeup on this day because I was doing very sort of simple, easy stuff. I wasn't using any cream products. I was just kind of doing my very easy go-to powder makeup. So yeah, this is me just blending that in to my cheeks and my forehead. My forehead looks hella big here, but it's all good. No judgments on this channel. 
So yeah, I always use so much bronzer on my forehead. And then I also put bronzer on the tip of my nose, but I did way too much, so that was me blending it in. And then this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I've always used this. It's just the easiest brow product to use. I literally just draw in in any of the gaps that need drawing in and then use the spoolie to blend it out. And it's super easy and I love this product. Then I'm using this discontinued Too Faced Coral Blush, which is my favorite, and I'm so sad that they don't sell it anymore because when it's gone, I'll never have it again. And then I've got this brand new lip color, which I'm obsessed with from Maybelline. It goes on creamy, but it's like a liquid lipstick and it dries like semi-matte and it stays on all day. It's honestly amazing and I highly recommend it. I'll list it down below. Then I'm using this Tartlet Energy Palette, which I actually got from TK Maxx, and I love the colors in this palette. And then I've chosen these three colors for my eyelids. So starting off with the gorgeous warm brown shade on my crease, and just blending that in really, really well with a small fluffy brush, really packing the color on there. I love this color on brown eyes and hazel eyes. I think it really makes them pop. And then after this, I'm taking that gorgeous champagne sparkle and just putting that all over the lid. I love the shine of this. It's so pretty and just really elevates the whole makeup, gives it that little bit of extra glam. And then just this little bit of shimmer just in the corners of my eyes to give it a little pop, as you can see here. And then I'm taking this gorgeous highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's so old, it was from their collaboration with Amrizi. I've had it for years and I just love it. Putting it down the center of my nose and on my brow bones and on my cheeks and just glowing up that face. And then this was my outfit and I've done a bit of a slow-mo so you guys can see. But this dress is from Needle and Thread. It honestly makes me feel like a princess. I love it so much. And my hat, which we'll see in a moment, is from my mum's brand, The Hatted, which I will link down below as well. It's just this huge oversized blush bow, which is just gorgeous and so, so me. Look how well it goes with this dress. And then my Gucci bag, some pearl earrings, and of course, Giorgio Armani Sea Perfume. And here is my gorgeous friend Chloe, who is an amazing hairdresser and the only person that I trust to do the best bouncy blow dry ever. She just does them like no one else does them. So this is us just nattering away. I'm going to stop my voiceover now and just let the music continue and you can just watch us natter and watch a little bit of the process of Chloe doing my blow dry. I'm also laughing so much watching this back because I never realized how expressive my face is when I talk and it's just really making me laugh that I look like that when I'm telling a story. I just get so engrossed in the story I'm telling. I have a very passionate face clearly because I'm laughing so much watching this back. And then this is the only clip I got to show you guys of my finished outfit. My mum took this video, I think it's so cute, but I didn't manage to get any other clips of my outfit. And then this is Anna and I in the car, and then when we arrived at the field, we had our little picnic which we bought with us. I love that vintage picnic box, I think it's the cutest thing ever. We had a full-blown picnic, it was so yummy, but some people there literally had like a full-blown meal, like a roast dinner with a vase with flowers in it and tea and cakes and the whole shebang. People really went all out, which I'd never seen before and I thought it was so cute. There's my dad and Anna and my gorgeous mum. 
And of course, Anna is the one pouring the champagne because who else would be pouring the champagne except for Anna? There's my mum and dad walking up the field to the entrance. Look how stunning my mum looks. She looks so amazing in her outfit. And yeah, this is what it looked like from the outside. It's so huge. I love it. It really gets me excited. And that's a slow-mo of my mum because she just looks so glam. And there's Anna and my dad having a little chit-chat as they always do. They love a chitter-chatter. There she is in all her glory with her beautiful hat. And this is us when we arrived in the enclosure. How beautiful is this? Honestly, it blows me away every time how gorgeous it is and how good everyone looks. And then this is us placing our first bet. We'd never done it before, so we absolutely winged it and just pretended we knew what we were doing, but we absolutely had no idea whatsoever. We just wanted to take part. Just a few minutes ago, and then they head out into the course. And we are still waiting for the Then we went to the bar for some drinks, which we did two or three times throughout the day. The drinks here were very lovely. And then we took our drinks and went back outside. Look what a glorious sunny day it was. It was so nice and everyone looked amazing. And then this is my dad during the final race. He was explaining something to me, but I can't remember what he was explaining. But yeah, this was the final race of the day, which we wanted to watch together. Look at them go. They're just so majestic and beautiful, aren't they? After a very long drive home, we are finally back from Royal Ascot and it was just such a good day all around. Like we just had such a nice time. I don't even know how good this vlog is gonna be, if it's like a bit chaotic, I really don't know. I tried my best to vlog everything for you guys or as much as I could, but it was actually really difficult because firstly it was extremely hot, like when we were outside in the sun it was seriously roasting and we were sweating so we stayed a lot of the time in the shade trying to cool down or indoors and um 
there's obviously a lot of people everywhere so a lot of people sort of walking in front of the camera bashing you um or like knocking your hat or whatever um it's like super super busy and uh, can definitely get a little bit um intense for sure so yeah it was really really tricky to film um kind of us especially with like holding a handbag holding a drink in my hand holding my phone in my hand so i was kind of constantly putting things in my bag taking things out trying not to drop my camera um so yeah i hope it wasn't too chaotic i hope it was like somewhat entertaining um and you kind of get a little glimpse into what it was like at royal ascot we honestly had just such a lovely time together anna and i really just loved it and there's just something so lovely about Ascot. It's just so quintessentially British and it's just lovely. It's just a really, really lovely atmosphere. And we really enjoyed ourselves. Um, and we did actually spend some time with my parents as well, even though they were in a different enclosure, we sort of kept meeting up with them. So that was really lovely. Um, I'm honestly shattered. Literally my feet must be absolutely filthy because we were um, walking at the end, our feet were so sore, so we had to, um, we were like walking on the astroturf and like on the carpet in bare feet, um, which isn't probably the greatest or the most hygienic, but it's fine. They are not on my bed, they're hanging off my bed. They will be washed momentarily as soon as I've done my outro. But yeah, all in all, I would say tips for Ascot, get there early, find seats early, um, pack some flat shoes with you like sliders or trainers or flip-flops or anything just something comfortable and take them into the um enclosure with you because there's often a long walk back from the enclosure to the car park so definitely if you're someone who suffers with like sore feet after heels definitely take some flat shoes um have a few drinks love life take loads of photos um it's just brilliant the only thing i the only thing i didn't enjoy was the actual betting part i'm just i'm not a gambler i'm not a batter i'm just i'm not good at this stuff and sorry i keep touching my head i feel like there's a big knot in the back of my hair sorry um i'm not a gambler at all so it's really not my thing it's not my area of expertise at all but um yeah i lost pretty much every single time i placed a bet so never ask me for betting tips because you'll lose but other than that, um, it was a really, really successful, fun, lovely day. And I hope Anna had a really good birthday. And I think I'm going to round it off here. So thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.